Hey everybody, this is uh, DC Lavawa. I uh, wanted to show you guys exactly how I go about uh, do doing the card forwarding on my on my layout. Um, people have asked me; uh, they've seen these. Some of them have mentioned the uh, the color tags, and they've uh, mentioned to me like, how do I how does my layout work in regards to uh, moving uh, rolling stock around? Well, essentially, what I do is I use a uh, colored sticker on each car. So like for example this one here on this box car there's a blue sticker with the letter W. Now a blue sticker on my layout signifies the CPN freight house which is labeled on the fascia here. So the fascia here has the CPN freight house with the blue tag. So any box cars or any rolling stock that you see that has a blue tag for example on my layout you know the destination of that particular for rolling stock is to be headed towards the, the freight house. Now the W signifies the second destination, which essentially means heading west, or it is to be placed on a westbound track. So my layout right now is empty. There's no cars on the on the rail yard right now. It's simply for just a demonstration. I thought it would be easier if you can just basically see how it looks without, uh, without having a, a, a rail yard completely cluttered. And uh, what I essentially do is have the, uh, the cars placed on the proper tracks and then in turn wait for the uh, true freight to come and uh, pick up the, uh, the cars. So let me go ahead and uh, show you how I go about doing that. Now on my layout, I uh, start with the, the morning shift, which normally uh, does the pickups for the... Uh, for the uh, the industries so the first shift of the day is picking up uh, last night's drop-offs at the industry so right now the locomotive is going in to uh, pick up the uh, the rolling stock of the, uh, in the industries okay so now I've uh, the morning shift the switcher has not picked up all of the uh, the cars for the um, for the morning drop-offs and you could see at this point on actually the uh, intended cars are all heading westbound. I didn't actually plan that. I was just I actually placed them kind of randomly. It just so happened that all of these cars are intended for a westbound track. So the yard switcher at this point on takes all of the uh, stock the cars from the um, industries and uh, places it on the designated track and in this case they're all going on the westbound uh, westbound track so any cars heading west on my layout from the Gatineau yard will all be placed on this track at the moment the one to just the right of it that is the eastbound and the one that all on the far on the far right uh, that is the the local track which I'll explain in, in a few moments Okay, right now I've got a uh, westbound uh, true freight coming into the yard, and uh, my yard is the um, I class it as a division point between the CPNS uh, line and the uh, Canadian Pacific Main Line. So right now this train is going, this locomotive is going to detach from this train, and then in turn become an eastbound uh, locomotive, eastbound train. So as this train is pulling into the yard. I'll show you quickly what I can see from the uh, 
fast I can actually determine. what cars are headed for what industries. So taking a quick glance at the, the cars, I can clearly see I've got cars with stickers heading to industries on my layout. So I've got one that's heading to the uh, fuel depot. I've got one heading towards the uh, beaver lumber. I got another one heading towards the beaver lumber. And I got another one heading towards the uh, the freight house. If I move along, all the other cars that do not have any tags on them do not go on any industries on my layout, which tells me that they're just traffic along the line. So these guys are going to have to be placed uh, on the uh, the westbound track. So they got to be. Uh, it's a constant that has to be built on the uh, the westbound track along with the other three cars that are sitting in the yard. So let me get started and I'll pull the, uh, I'll start breaking apart the, uh, this, uh, this consist. So now I've got the yard switcher who's already detached the uh, caboose and placed it in the uh, caboose track. Uh, the yard switcher now pulls the uh, entire cut of cars. and will in turn place all the cars that are intended for the industries on my layout on the local track of the uh, the rail yard and the remaining cars that are not intended to go on the industry will in turn then go uh, continue down the line uh, seeing that they're originally were heading westbound so these cars are going to be heading on a westbound track Okay, so now you see the uh, the cars are now placed on the uh, the local track of the rail yard. Now, uh, all the cars that are intended for any industry on my layout uh, are to be placed on the uh, the local track. So that also means any traffic that is intended for the uh, town of Masson will also be placed on the local track as well. So here we've got four cars with this true freight that are intended to be uh, delivered to uh, industries on the layout. The remaining cars that are to be heading westbound will then in turn be placed on the westbound track of the, uh, the layout. Here you can see the yard switcher is now attaching the westbound cars together and in turn this uh, consist will have to wait until a uh, eastbound uh, train arrives into the yard which then in turn gets switched over to a westbound which will then in turn uh, attach itself to these row of cars and uh, then uh, continue west on the uh, on the layout okay so now once the uh, the true freight the locomotive has uh, parked itself at the engine track all the way at the end there you can see uh, the yard switcher then uh, tucks in behind the uh, the local and uh, begins to designate begins to deliver the cars to the to the industries now mind you it, it only delivers the cars that are intended for the industries uh, along the uh, the yard any uh, cars designated for industries 
going towards, say, for example, towards a town, or in this case, the town of Masson, um, the yard switcher would have to cut those cars and uh, place them on uh, uh, the arrival departure track or designated track uh, temporarily while it does the switching for the, uh, for the industries here. For this scenario, it's pretty straightforward. The cars then, the, look, the switcher then in turn just shunts the cars towards the, the freight house and then towards the uh, beaver lumber. As for the town, the uh, tank car, the yard switch would have to pull a run around move and uh, then in turn deliver the, uh, the tank car to the uh, fuel depot, which is at the other end of the, the layout. Okay, here you can see the, uh, the local as the yard switcher has already delivered the box car to the uh, freight house and is now delivering the uh, box car and the uh, flat car to the, uh, to, the, to the lumber mill. Once the, uh, the yard switcher has uh, delivered the uh, cargo to uh, the beaver lumber, it then pulls off and with the tank car has to do a runaround move on my layout to tuck in the, uh, the tank car behind it so can, it then can shove the uh, tank car to the fuel depot. Okay, so now the tank car is being uh, shunted into the uh, Richland Fuel and Depot. I uh, didn't show you guys the runaround move because, uh, I mean, quite honestly, everybody's pretty much knows what a runaround move is on the on the layout. So here you could see the uh, tank car being delivered to. the depot. Okay, there you can see the yard switcher uh, back at the uh, service area for the uh, locomotive. And uh, this pretty much is a small demonstration of how I go about uh, moving cars on my layout. So as you can clearly see, the westbound car cars are essentially waiting for the, uh, the locomotive to arrive. And uh, at this point on, um, the stickers signify which destination they're going to since they've already been to their industry. And uh, here you can see, obviously, on the stickers, the westbound lettering. If you want to make it even a little bit more elaborate, what you can also do is you can attach a number in front of, uh, uh, of the letter, signify some other destination on your layout if you wish. So, uh, for example, you can have uh, 2E or... Uh, to W, for example, and uh, they s could easily signify something on, on your layout. For what I have, as far as my layout, my layout is not very large, so this system works very, very nice. And not all of my cars have tags. Some of them are just to mimic traffic on the line. The cars that are intended for industries on my layout have the stickers on them, and they will remain on them. I don't take off the stickers. I leave them on, and I have... Uh, for example, uh, um, cars heading both for the freight house that are intended for the east or west, uh, which either have a blue W or uh, an E W, uh, sorry, an E blue tag on the box car. So I uh, turn sometimes just randomly build a contest in my staging area just out of the blue like that, and when they pull into the into the rail yard, uh, it signifies traffic and uh, it makes things a lot more interesting. So here, I don't follow any schedules. I don't follow any, any scenarios. It's just basically cars get pulled out per shift and uh, are headed to the destinations based on whether they're intended for an industry or if they're intended for east or a westbound track. 
Well, that's pretty much it, guys. If you've got any comments or uh, if you've got anything you wish me to elaborate or explain a little bit more on, just give me a shot. Or if you can, just uh, leave me a comment and I'll reply them. I'll reply back to you. This is uh, DC Lavalois signing off. Thanks, guys. Bye.